so 40% uh, less than it originally was. Uh, and I guess this is just an aesthetic uh, choice, but it makes it perhaps look a bit better when you've uh, when you're actually dragging something and uh, and something is applied uh, to the drag. So when we're dragging something, uh, we know which item we're dragging. Okay, so that's it for the um, options uh, for now. What we're going to do now is create another list and actually connect this list with it. So let's go ahead and copy this unordered list and come down and paste it just in here. Uh, and I'm just going to uh, call this places instead of names and I'm going to type the names of a few places. Okay, so now that we've got this list, let's just go ahead and look at that in our browser. You can see that we've got a list here and we're not unable to sort it obviously because we haven't uh, allowed it to be sorted. However, this list is still uh, available to be sorted. Now what we can actually do is inside the selector we can use a comma to actually specify another list we want to be sortable. So in this case it's places. So when we refresh uh, we can actually sort this list here as well. Uh, sorry. Places. That was a spelling mistake. So now we can actually sort this list as well as this one. However you'll notice that we can't actually drag this down into this list because it doesn't connect with it. So if for some reason you wanted to connect two different lists, for example, lists of um, options that have been generated from the database or any other lists and you wanted to actually allow them to interact with each other, for example, you might have two different lists um, like this and you might want to uh, associate uh, particular elements with the other list, you can use the uh, connect with option in here. Now the connect with option uh, takes uh, as many uh, different elements uh, as you like and we specify these elements uh, like so so for example if we wanted to, uh, as we've selected names and places we can't really say that we want to connect this just with names because we're connecting their names with names and places with names so places will be connected with names but names won't be connected with places so you can see that we'll have this problem we can't drag this into here but we can drag this into here so now what we want to do is just go ahead and select places as well uh, and that allows us to interchange items from each list so we can move uh, things around uh, and essentially what I've done here is just switch the contents of uh, the list around. So that's how we use connect with. Okay so the last thing we're going to take a look at is the events. Um, I'm only going to just uh, demonstrate one event and that is update. The reason for this is that update is probably the most useful event in terms of if you wanted to perhaps store a list in order that it's been moved around in, um, in a database for example, a database table. Uh, there are uh, quite a few events for this uh, sortable interaction, however uh, I'm just going to take a look at update, how we implement update, how we can display data from this and then we're going to go ahead and um, end the tutorial but then afterwards go ahead to the jQuery documentation and you'll find a list of other events that might apply to you. So I'm going to comma separate this and just down here uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use and uh, set the update event and this is going to be equal to a function. Now inside this function is what's going to happen when the uh, event has um, taken place so I'm going to say sorted now update will actually only um, update is the event that essentially happens when we move something then we let go and then when the um, when the element is updated so when the list has been updated so if we refresh the page you can see that as I move this just below here as soon as that's sorted we get this uh, alert box sorted now this is the reason I'm looking into the update option, uh, update event and showing you this only uh, for the simple fact that if you wanted to sort a list and then store the list, uh, the order that it's been stored in, uh, this would be the event you would use. Um, there are other events such as when the dragging, dragging of each element starts, uh, etc. But we're not going to be taking a look at them uh, just yet. Okay, so now that we've got this update function working, we're not going to alert, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab the contents of the div that's, uh, or the list that's just been updated, and we're going to display it just down here in a div. So inside index.php, I'm just going to come down here, and I'm going to create a div here. 
and I'm going to call this sort status. So now inside ui.js, we're going to grab the um, contents of the list that we've just sorted into. For example, if I was to uh, move that to there, um, this list has now been updated, so we can we can uh, display the contents of this list. If I was to move this here, then we could display the contents of this list, so we can update each list accordingly. So let's go ahead and um, and do this. So uh, I'm going to say content is equal to, and I'm going to select this dot text. Now this dot text is going to take uh, the current text that's inside of here minus the uh, tags or the HTML elements themselves. So now what we can do is go ahead and apply this to the sort status div. So sort status dot text content. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and drag something. You can see that now we've got Billy, Alex and Ashley, which is the order that this particular list is in. Uh, and then again, if I was to move that up there, it would be the same, it would update it. If I was to move an item down here, we would then have Billy, London and Sheffield. So we're essentially just um, returning the list uh, in its text format, um, depending on which list we've currently dragged into. So this is a particularly brief overview of um, the sortable interaction in jQuery. However, it's not mainly used um, in terms of actually sorting lists. It's more like menu options. For example, if we had uh, these li elements instead and didn't have an unordered list, uh, these might be divs for, for example, um, menu options down a page or forum categories. Um, it could be absolutely anything, and you could use this sort status, uh, this sort uh, sortable interaction, to actually sort particular uh, lists. You could also then, in here, once the update has been complete, update a database with the order that the uh, user has placed these lists in. I'm not going to be covering in this tutorial because I've just taken a basic look at some of the options and one of the events available to Sortable. However, if you do need any more information, the jQuery library has uh, everything you might need. So if you uh, are wondering uh, how you might do a particular, um, particular thing with this, uh, you can go ahead and look that up. But for now, this is just a basic overview of uh, sortable list interaction in jQuery.